Some breaking news now and there's been a stabbing incident in the Scottish city of Glasgow with confirmation at least one police officer has been injured and reports the suspect was shot dead. Let's get an update from Sky News reporter Mark White. A very serious incident actually involving a number of deaths. I'm not able to give you a definitive number on that yet but a number of fatalities involved in this incident. There's also uh, reported to have been uh, a shooting, a police-involved shooting, uh, but again, we're still working to flesh out the details on that for you. It was an incident that unfolded just after one o'clock uh, this afternoon in this area of Glasgow city centre, uh, West George Street, not far, of course, from the uh, famous George Square, right in the heart of Glasgow city centre. Uh, it was very apparent early on that this was uh, a significant in incident with eyewitnesses and one of them speaking to us on Sky News saw um, people leaving a nearby hotel there uh, with uh, bloodied faces and, and blood elsewhere, trails of blood on the street as well. Um, we are not as yet in a position uh, to confirm the, the precise nature uh, of what happened here, but uh, we are uh, in a position to, to confirm at this stage through uh, a source that's been speaking to me of a number of fatalities and it looks like a, a potential a police involved shooting as well. Uh, clearly this has been monitored uh, by senior officers uh, within the Counter-Terror Command because uh, at this stage, it's not been declared as a terrorist. We have no information that that is the case, but it will be uppermost in the minds of what has unfolded here. We remember, of course, just last weekend, uh, the incident that unfolded in that park uh, in Reading. Um, there are, as uh, James Matthews has been reporting, uh, reports of uh, people being stabbed. Uh, that is not inconsistent uh, with what I'm hearing, uh, but at this stage we're getting reports uh, that uh, some people, it seems, have succumbed to those injuries. Uh, the Home Secretary, well, uh, clearly she has been kept informed. We've heard nothing formally from her.